So in this problem, we're told a ball player catches a ball 3.2 seconds after throwing it vertically upward. With what speed did he throw it and what height did it reach? So let's write down what we're given here. So given, so we're told that the player catches the ball 3.2 seconds after throwing it vertically upward. So we're given a time, so let's write that down. So time equals 3.2 seconds. And we're told he's throwing it upward, right? So we know the force of gravity is going to be acting on the ball. So we want to write that acceleration is equal to the force of gravity that's exerted on the ball, which is just going to be minus 9.8 meters per second squared. So we have acceleration, we have time, and uh, what else do we know? Well, we know that what we're trying to find first is with what speed did he throw the ball? So what we're going to want to do is set V, the final velocity, equal to zero. And so zero meters per second. And the reason we're doing this is because if you think about it, when he throws the ball up, the point, the maximum height, right, uh, it reaches is going to be, uh, the ball is going to be moving zero meters per second. So if we can find that point, it's going to be, uh, allow us to find the speed at which he threw it. So since the ball is in this air at this point, at some point, the point that it reaches its highest is going to be zero meters per second. So you're going to set that equal. And then we're trying to find what speed did he throw it. So that basically just means find the initial velocity. So that's what we're trying to find. So V sub zero, we're trying to find. And so which equation should we use to solve it? So we have all these equations. Uh, we're given in the first one, you can see we're given V, or we're given V, uh, we're given V, we're trying to find uh, V sub zero. We have A and we have T. All these require uh, delta X. In this case, it would be delta Y because we're moving uh, on the Y axis. So uh, just ignore these three. We're not gonna use them for this one, but we're gonna use this one. So V equals V sub zero plus A times T. So let's just write it out. So v which is zero equals uh, v sub zero we don't know so we're trying to solve for that plus a which is minus 9.8 times t and so i said in the beginning time was 3.2 seconds but you're going to see why uh, it's changed a little bit so think about uh he says or the problem says that he catches the ball after 3.2 seconds so he throws the ball up and then he, it comes down and after that it takes 3.2 seconds and so what you need to know is that if you throw the ball up with constant acceleration and stuff, um, the ball is going to be the same amount of time going up as it is going down. So if you tell that, if, if we're known that it takes um, 3.2 seconds for it to go up and then come down, we know that we can just divide it by 2 to get the amount of time going up, right? So 3.2 divided by 2 is 1.6. So it's going to take 1.6 seconds to reach its height or maximum height and then 1.6 seconds to go down. And that and think about it right because we set v equal to zero and that's when it reaches its highest so the amount of time it takes to get there is 1.6 seconds so that's what we're going to set for t hopefully you understood that but yeah so 1.6 uh we're going to move v to sub zero to the other side so minus v sub zero is equal to minus 9.8 times 1.6 and so if you do minus 9.8 times 1.6 you're going to get minus 15.68 and then we can remove the minus sign by multiplying by minus one so essentially v sub zero is going to be equal to 15.68 and i don't know how you're supposed to round but i'm just going to round to the whole number so round upwards so this is going to be 16 and then keep in mind we're using meters per second so 16 meters per second and then so that gave us uh the speed he threw it and now we're trying to find the height that it reached and so if we imagine x and y axis, we're trying to find this distance right here, right? Uh, so we're trying to find delta y. That's what we're trying to find next. And so looking at our equations uh, to solve it, uh, it's not going to be the first one, right? Because it doesn't contain it. And then uh, it depends which one we want to use on the last one. I think it would be best to use this one right here. And so because we're basically given everything, we just got v sub 0. We have 0 and minus 9.8. We just got to find this, right? So let's just use this equation right here. So v squared is going to be zero squared, right? So zero squared equals v sub uh, zero squared, which is just uh, 16, but I'm gonna use this decimal form to give us a better answer. So 15.68 squared plus two times a, which is minus 9.8 times delta y. And these have delta x, just pretend they're delta y, it works the same way. So I'm gonna move this to the other side so we have uh, 15.68 squared, and this is going to be minus that equals 
So 2 times minus 9.8 is going to be minus 19.6 delta y. And then so if we square this number, it's going to become 245.8624. And then we have this minus sign, right? So minus that equals minus 19.6 times delta y. If we want to get delta y, we just divide by 19.6 or minus 19.6. And then these minuses are going to cancel. If you just divide this 245 uh, divided by minus 19.6, uh, it's going to give you 12.544. And so we've got that. Uh, now that we've got that, what we want to do is just round. So you can round however you want. I'm going to round to the whole number. So it's going to be equal to 13. And then keep in mind, this is delta y, right? We've been working with meters and seconds. So it's just a change in position. So it's just going to be 13 meters. And so your answer to the second part is going to be 13. And our answer to the first part was 16 meters per second. And so, yeah, that's how you solve this problem.